Greetings, Slackers. It's February 11th, 2016. And there's an article I wanted to share with you over on RT. Swipe right for the burn. Tinder blocks pro Sanders campaigners. And this is dated back on the uh, 5th. But I thought it was pretty funny to share. It says here, the online dating app Tinder has locked accounts of at least two women who used the service to campaign for Democratic presidential nominee Bernie Sanders after receiving multiple complaints from male users. The women, one from Iowa and another from New Jersey, said that Tinder sent them notices announcing that their accounts had been suspended, following numerous reports by men who had received messages from the women in support of Sanders' candidacy. Robin Gedrich of New Jersey told Reuters, she has sent two pro Sanders messages to about 60 people a day for the past two weeks. Do you feel the burn? Her tender message reads, please text work to 82623 for me. Thanks. Texting the number will result in receiving updates from the campaign. Gedrich said she sent campaign messages to about 300 tender users. She has not been able to access her account since logging off on Thursday. And it says, end quote, some people would ask, what is this for? And I would kind of explain, she said. Some of them would unmatch me or report me as a bot, meaning a spam account. Haley Lent of Iowa says she sent messages to as many as 100 Tinder users. She had purchased a Tinder premium account in order to access users in New Hampshire, site of the next Democratic primary match between Sanders and fellow party presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. And quote, I would ask them if they were going to vote in their upcoming primary, she said. If they said no or were on the fence, I would try to talk to them and persuade them to vote. Gedrich said she got the idea to use Tinder in support of Sanders' campaign upon realizing that she had little in common with the men she was meeting on Tinder. And quote, these guys are disgusting. They're just looking for sex and that's it, she told BuzzFeed News. So if they're going to swipe right, they might as well do some good and donate to the man, the myth, the legend, Bernie, end quote. Gebris told BuzzFeed she would take to Facebook to continue campaigning for Sanders, who she believes will make college more affordable so people like me can get ahead, end quote. Rosette Pambakian, Tinder's vice president for communications and branding, told RT via email that the company does not mind political activism so long as it stays within the terms of service. We wholeheartedly support people sharing their political views on Tinder, but we don't allow spamming, Pambakian wrote. So feel free to spread the burn, just don't spam. You know, not everybody's going to be on these uh, platforms with the same intent of looking to meet people as these two women have clearly demonstrated that they came on the platform to try to persuade men as to who they feel will be the best presidential candidate. Now. I'm not necessarily against, you know, using the platform to promote things, but, you know, that would kind of piss me off, <laughs> especially if I was interested in some girl. And, you know, her first message and response was, hey, do you feel the burn? You know, and then come to find out she wasn't really interested in meeting me, but she was just trying to persuade me to vote for, you know, the candidate that she was backing. You know, politics is something that they say you shouldn't discuss, but I say, hey, Discuss it on the first date. Why not? Get to know somebody, know where their political leaning is. See if they're even educated about the system. What are your thoughts on this and how would you feel if someone hit you up and, you know, try to persuade you to, you know, vote for a political candidate or so forth? Leave your comments down below and that's going to do it for this article. Catch you next time. September Man out, out, out.